he never forgot his painting lesson. After that trip to the brig, Bill got wise. He found by reading the articles for the government of the United States Navy that being a member of the Navy team means certain real responsibilities, not only for him, but for all the rest, from the recruits right on up to the very top. And he found out something else, something that opened his eyes to real teamwork, something about Stewart's mates and their place on the team. Doris Miller, steward's mate, first class, USN, for his distinguished devotion to duty, extraordinary courage, and disregard for his personal safety during the attack on Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941, the Navy Cross. Albert H. Oliver, steward's mate, first class, USN, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity while serving aboard a United States warship during a raid upon that vessel by approximately 25 Japanese torpedo planes in the vicinity of the Solomon Islands on June 30th, 1942, the Silver Star Medal. William Pinckney, Cook, third class, USN, for extraordinary heroism while serving aboard the USS Enterprise during the engagement with enemy Japanese naval forces near the Santa Cruz Islands on October 26, 1942, the Navy Cross. Leonard Roy Harmon, steward's mate, first class, USN, for extraordinary heroism while serving aboard the USS San Francisco during action against enemy Japanese forces in the Solomon Islands area on November 12th and 13th, 1942, the Navy Cross, a fighting ship named for a fighting man. And there are hundreds of others, like this lad on the Franklin, who had a job to do and did it. And I thought Stewart's mates were just waiters. Well, Johnson, you might call them that, but they're fighting men, too. Between battles, their work is rather dull, but somebody has to be a waiter or a cook or a storekeeper. Everybody can be captain on a ship, but when you get the ship to where she's ready for the job she was built for, when you're there in battle, what you did before doesn't count anymore. What matters now is what you do in battle. Like your ship, that's your main job, fighting, and believe me, when it comes to fighting, the stewards and mates are right in there with the rest of them. That's real teamwork, sir. You bet it is. And because their primary job is fighting, stewards and mates' instruction includes standard courses in airplane and ship recognition, ship compartmentation, and gunnery. just to be anywhere on the team. And Johnson, don't ever forget this about Stewart's mates. They may pour soup between battles, but in battle they pour lead with the best of them. And so Company 510, now U.S. Navy fighting men, passes in review for the last time. Bill's recruit days are almost over. Those few crowded tough weeks have been lived through. He and his buddies have learned the basic rules of the game. Now, some will go direct to general service duty, while others will specialize and enter service schools. Company 510 will be scattered far and wide as the men continue their various careers, each to take his special position on the team for the big plays ahead. Bill was selected for quartermaster training at the U.S. Naval Training School, Hampton, Virginia. training for quartermaster was a step up on the team. Here the trainees are mustered and checked in and receive a brief outline of the particular rules at Hampton. This chance was something Bill had hoped for, but you don't graduate just for the hoping. You have to earn it. Until now, a boy was just something floating around in the water. But Bill soon learned that there were quite a few different types of boys each with a different purpose. He had to become as familiar with them as with his own name. But 
that was only a small part of it. Among other things, Bill learned how to make compass deviation compensations, how to navigate by dead reckoning, and how to plot a course. What a mercurial barometer is, how to set it, how to take readings, for the barometer is the sailor's watchdog. Bill also learned how to use the engine room telegraph. On this training ship, Bill and his shipmates put to actual use what they have learned in classes. You really love winning. Easy now. Just a touch, right running. That's it. Ease your rudder. That's fine. So while Bill is on his way to becoming a quartermaster, other Bills, Tonys, Bobs, and Pedros are on their way to becoming radio men, aviation metalsmiths, aviation machinist mates, gunners mates, and other specialists and getting ready to take their places patrolling. Signaling. Mind sweeping. along with a thousand and one other jobs that go to make up the Navy team. Photographer's mate, who wears the Purple Heart, has flown many missions over enemy territory in the Pacific, doing map work under hazardous conditions. When completed, these mosaic maps furnish one of the most essential factors in battle planning. This skipper commands a Navy oiler. And this chaplain counsels and advises the boys on many subjects. While these waves have released men for duty in combat areas. from Bill, he wrote me that he had been ordered to duty aboard a destroyer escort, manned by a predominantly Negro crew. 